Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video we will continue our discussion about how we can further develop our dashboards in Shiny by using the Shiny dashboard library which is a standard library for developing dashboards in Shiny <coughs> and uh, make it interactive. So in the previous video we have seen about uh, the layout that you have and some of its properties about header, sidebar or dashboard body and we got this uh, sample application if i run the app and this is what the sample we have got with this minimum code all right so this is the header this is the sidebar and here you have the body about where you can create charts and other objects so let's create first chart here uh, and see uh, the interactivity all right so we need to go into the dashboard body because that's where we will going to create a chart on the central location the grayish location that you just saw and first thing we need to do is declare the box because ev uh, everything that you need to do is uh, needs to happen in a box but before even we declare the box we need to declare one other function which is fluid row so what it is basically doing so think like this you have this section let's say assume like it is a row and within this entire row you have two section one section where you are writing the code another section where you are seeing the commands that you have run over here but uh, apart uh, apart from these two section you can create other section which are uh, automatically adjustable with the help of this fluid row so think like fluid row is creating uh, imaginary row like this and within that row you have several sections when you keep on creating the new components so here is the fluid row let's create the first component uh, by declaring box and within the box we need to mention what do we want so we want to create a, a plot here in this case so we will use a very very simple example to develop our understanding and uh, let's create a histogram out of our very old faithful data all right so we will write plot output and here within the plot output we need to give the output id and the output id is let's say histogram within the double quotation H-I-S-T histogram all right that's the minimum code you need to write first is the fluid row within the fluid row we just we are just creating one component which is the box or plot out histogram and then we need to first save it and then go into the server then let's create a function over here and the function is output dollar histogram so r is uh, r engine is intelligent that's why it was able to get the component that you declared in the ui.r which was histogram and we want to render the uh, plot so render plot and within that function we will write um, histogram which is in hist and then uh, we want to use the old faithful data so faithful dollar eruptions so that's the minimum code you can write as of now to really go and create the histogram so let's not do anything let's just review what we have done let me save this first so first of all we have gone into the dashboard body declared a fluid row in which we can create multiple component and that are automatically adjustable then it is uh, then we are declaring within the box we are creating the histogram by using plot output which is nothing but your shiny function to create the plots so after this minimum code we have gone into the server and we have used a very regular reactive function which is just creating the histogram faithful dollar eruption and this histogram or this id related to the output is stored here in the plot output they both need to be same all right so once we run this let's see it and here you have a very very simple histogram which is right now static in nature but at least you are able to see the kind of output that you can get now let's so the next thing is i want to show how you can create another component in the row so now think like this is one row where you can create multiple component 
So let's create another component which over here to see and make it a little bit dynamic so that whatever you are doing over here uh, and your bar, your histogram is getting impacted out of it. All right, so let's go and uh, let's after the box, let's create another box. And within the box, we want to create slider input, which is a standard component of Shiny. Uh, let's give it a, uh, let's give it an ID, which is bins. And we will say number of breaks as a label. And we will start from one, maximum we will go to 100 and start value will be 50. That's what these three parameters mean. So minimum, maximum value. Once you do that, you are good. Now we need to remember this bins because with the help of this ID of slider input, we will going to make our histogram dynamic. So we are going into server.r within the hist, we are adding after the comma, we are adding a parameter which is nothing but breaks. And what we are saying, we want to get the input from the UI input dollar bins. So bins is something which you created earlier in the UI for slider input. And that's all we need to do. So let me stop the previous iteration and run the application. So now we have run the application and as you can see, along with histogram you are getting the slider input also and if i change the slider input a little bit the chart is also changing if i increase it a little bit the chart is changing so that's how we are able to add the interactivity to our chart and was able to create two different components now think about this you can create even multiple components on the uh maybe on this row or on the next row so that you are uh, making your dashboard more and more interactive for the end users all right so what we need to do now next is let's say uh this component you feel like from your end users feedback oh this is not really good because this space really need to be used for creating charts and diagrams and all that sort of stuff which user can really focus on so what feedback they have given you is uh, they want you to move this uh, slider input from here to sidebar because that's where all the controls need to be placed. All right, let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So let's close this. And here is the, uh, we are going into UI and here is our slider input. So let's pick this entire row, cut it, remove the comma because we don't have anything else or any box statement after it and let's go into the dashboard sidebar because that's where we want to put i'll hit enter here create a new row and paste it over here now within the dashboard sidebar we don't really need box so i will remove this i will remove the parenthesis closing parenthesis of box and just put a comma well that's all you need to do to put the slider in a sidebar and once i hit save and stop the previous iteration i will run the app again and that's where my slider is now and my data is changing accordingly whatever changes that i am doing over here either moving right moving back whatever i am doing my data is changing so that's an easy because all your charts are here all your controls are here all menu items are here and you are able to see uh, the information in a much better way so that's about it uh, for this video where we wanted to look at uh, the different components uh, about how we can create it within the body, the control inputs like uh, slider input and all, and how we can add or uh, make our charts more interactive like any other shiny application and give our users some sort of control where they can really use it and play around with the dashboard in a real time. In the next video, we will discuss about how we can make these menu items enabled and create a separate pages all together for each of the menu item. So stay tuned on that and we'll meet in the next video with that topic.